everybody, I am Liz from French Toast and Books, and today I'm going to be doing the ultimate Harry Potter book tag because we all know I love Harry Potter, I love sporting my Ravenclaw gear, but first, before we get started, I want to say a big I am so sorry for neglecting you for two weeks. I am going to make it up by doing three videos. We have this one I'm uploading today. I will upload another one on Sunday, and then I will upload the third one on Wednesday. So stay tuned and keep a lookout for those videos. And I am hoping beyond hope that I will stick to my regularly scheduled Friday videos. So without further ado, let's talk about this book tag. It was brought to my attention from Ditcha by Bewitchingly Paranoid, and then we have the creator of this book tag, which is Izzy from Isabu's Literary Musings. She created this 30 question tag four years ago, back in 2014, and I have barely, it has barely been brought to my attention, which is a shame. So I am going to quickly do this tag as quickly as I can as it is a long one. Question one is what is your favorite book? And my favorite book in the Harry Potter franchise is Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. I loved, loved this book so much. I read it at least three times. I can't exactly remember how many times I've read it because it was all while I was a child. So I am so stoked to read this now as an adult as I go on in my rereadings that have taken a lot longer than I thought they would. Question two is your least favorite book. Now we all know that you love all the books in the series, in the franchise. There's seven of them, and there's bound to be one that you liked the least out of those seven. And for me, that one was Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. I remember the first five chapters when I read this back when it first came out, because I haven't yet reread it, was a chore. It took me forever to get through those first five chapters. I remember rereading chapters so often because I forgot what was said during those chapters and just how angsty Harry was and everything like that. Maybe now that I'm rereading this series, my thoughts and feelings will change. Question three is which movie was your favorite? And for that, my favorite movie was Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone or Sorcerer's Stone, depending upon your region. And I remember just falling in love with the whimsical, like, fairy tale awe that Harry experiences while being exposed to Diagon Alley, to Hogwarts, to seeing Hagrid, and, and everything like that. I just, I was, I felt so much for that awe and being a child and being exposed to this magical, um, this magical area, this landscape, this place, and wanting to be there and wanting my letter. Then we have question four, which is your least favorite movie. And for that, we have Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. It is my least favorite movie. One, because I didn't like the way the director directed it because it was a new guy. And two, because this director decided to grab pieces of the book and put them in the order he wanted to. So there's a lot of things out of chronological order, a lot of things that deviated from the book. It was my first real experience with um, director creative, like movie creative licensing, and I was not a fan. And so me, my little Liz kid heart was crushed watching that movie. I remember walking out of the movie theater being so broken hearted and wanting to chuck my popcorn at the movie screen because I was so disappointed. And I don't really feel as harsh about the movie now, but I still feel like it is the weakest movie in the franchise for me. So without further ado of this sadness, we're going to move on to question five, which is your favorite quote. And so my favorite quote comes from Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. I pretty much love the entire scene when Harry and Dumbledore are talking 
at the mirror of Eris said and just that emotion and those feelings that get brought up between that conversation it is one of my favorite scenes in the entire book series and so my favorite quote which is very silly and dumb happens when Harry asks Dumbledore what he sees in the mirror and he says I see myself holding a pair of thick woolen socks and his response reply to that as Harry just stares at him is that one can never have enough socks and it just resonates with me on a whole level because I agree one can never have enough socks and I have a overflowing huge sock drawer as testament to that. Question six is which is your favorite Weasley? And that one is Molly Weasley. I love her. She is such a proud, inspiring mom. She's super strong as evident in the seventh book when it comes to fighting. She is just the whole package of women, like, amazingness. And I want to embody her. She is just, she is my favorite. Seven is your favorite female character, and that one is Professor McGonagall. I love Professor McGonagall. She is witty. She is sarcastic. She doesn't let anybody walk all over her, and she is just so smart. And I just, I love her so much, and the way she just takes Harry and the gang under her wing, even when they break the rules, and she shows her disappointment in them, as she also shows her love and her care for them. I just love her so much. So, so much. Question A is your favorite villain. And for that, I'm gonna go with Bellatrix. Because she is super kooky and crazy. She has a one-track mind of villainy that she really wants to just go above and beyond what Voldemort wants her to do. Question 9 is your favorite male character. And that... We have Hagrid. I absolutely love Hagrid. He takes Harry under his wing. Like, I feel like he needs so much more credit at the end of book seven than what Harry gave all the other characters in regards to who he names his kids. But I just love Hagrid. I love that he gives the kids way too much information than he should. I love him when he's like, I shouldn't have done that. It's just so, so amazing. I love his care of creatures and his care of all the students he's with. And just, I just love his good, strong heartedness and, and how much of a softy he is. Question 10 is who's your favorite professor? And with that, I, as much as I don't want to repeat myself, Professor McGonagall is definitely my favorite professor. But the one who just sits barely below her, like in my rank two slot, is Professor Lupin. I was so sad to see him only get one year, and I felt like that was such an injustice because he was an amazing Defense Against the Dark Arts teacher, and he really like showed the kids that they could do so much more with themselves. I just loved that about his teaching. And I loved like the whole Bogart lesson. I will forever remember the Bogart lesson being embedded in my brain and how he taught them how to handle their greatest fears. So now we get on to this awesome would you rather. And so question 11 is, would you rather wash Snape's hair or spend a day listening to Lockhart rant about himself? And that's a good good question because one Snape is fairly terrifying and his hair is definitely in need of a bath like a wash and two Lockhart he can drone on and on about himself but I'm also very good at tuning people out so I think I might rather listen to Lockhart for a day Next question 12 is would you rather duel an elated Bellatrix or an angry Molly? I would definitely rather duel an elated Bellatrix because at least I have a chance. Molly, especially when angry, crushed Bellatrix. And so that means I might have a chance at winning a duel with Bellatrix, 
not with an angry Molly. Question 13 is, would you rather travel to Hogwarts via the Hogwarts Express or a flying car? And the Hogwarts Express, definitely. Question 14 is, would you rather kiss Voldemort or give Umbridge a bubble bath? And uh, I think I would rather kiss Voldemort. One, because it would happen in two seconds and he'd probably kill me. Whereas Umbridge, I just don't want to deal with her. I could not deal with her and I'm not gonna. So yes, we have kissing Voldemort. Ugh. Question 15 is, would you rather ride a hippogriff or ride a firebolt? And I would definitely rather ride a hippogriff. Next we have book to movie adaptation. So question 16 is, is there a character which you felt differently about in the movie versus the books? I feel that um, this is not really a good thing, but Ginny in the books is so different from Ginny in the movies. So I miss how strong she was in the books. Question 17 is, is there a movie you preferred instead of the book? And I don't really have an answer for that because the books are better by far than the movies. I do have to say it's nice that I can get the book, the gist of the book in two hours versus how it takes me days if not a month to read one book. So that's nice. Question 18 is Richard Harris or Michael Gambon as Dumbledore? And we're gonna go with Richard Harris because he was the first Dumbledore and he was Dumbledore to me when I saw him the first time. Question 19 is your top thing, person or event which wasn't included in the movie that annoyed you the most? And I'm gonna go with, gonna say two things. The top person that was not in the movie that annoyed me the most was definitely Peeves. Peeves was so pivotal in so much of the books that I was so disappointed when he wasn't in the movies. So if they do a Harry Potter like TV series in the future, which I hope they do, put Peeves in there. You will not be a good TV show if you do not have Peeves. That's my two cents. And to an event, I remember really missing the house elves in Hogwarts during the movies, especially with all they do in book five with the Room of Requirement and like Hermione's activism that I really wish that that would have been in the movies is Hermione's activism in giving house elves a lot more freedoms and rights and all of those things. Question 20 is if you could remake any of the Harry Potter movies, which would it be? Harry Potter and The Prisoner of Azkaban. I want that one to be remade the most. Please. All right, now we have a category of Hogwarts. Question 21 is which house was your first gut feeling you'd be a part of? Need I, need I say anything? It's Ravenclaw. And question 22 is which house were you actually sorted into in Pottermore? <laughs> Ravenclaw. Question 23 is which class would be your favorite? I think charms would be my favorite because I want to learn all of the wizarding spells and cast them and do great and all that. The A very close second would definitely be care of magical creatures because, I mean, who wouldn't want to be around magical creatures all day? And, and yeah, so... Uh, question 24 is which spell do you think would be most useful to learn? For me, that one's Alohomora because I lock myself out of my house or my car all the time. It's, um, it's quite embarrassing. Uh, question 25 is which character do you think at Hogwarts you'd instantly become friends with? And that one is probably Hermione because she's in the library all the time and I would be in the library all the time. And books. If not Hermione, then Luna. Definitely Luna, because we are both, you know, both would be in Ravenclaw, and, um, and she's just kind of spunky and weird, but weird in the good way, and I think, I think I'm weird in the good way, so maybe we'd bond. The next category, the last category, is miscellaneous. 26 says, if you could own one of the three Hallows, which would it be? 
So would I own the invisibility cloak, the wand, or the resurrection stone? And I would pick the resurrection stone because dying and death sucks. Question 27 is, is there any aspect of the books you'd want to change? This could be a character, an event, or anything. Um, so I think that the one thing I would definitely change, which is a spoiler to book seven, if you guys haven't read book seven or watched the seventh movie, it is the death of Hedwig. There was no point in the death of Hedwig except to make you cry and be sad, and I would change that. Question 28 is your favorite marauder, and that's Lupin. I love Lupin. He's amazing, and I don't care that he's a werewolf and that he could turn me into a werewolf or eat me or kill me or whatever. He's amazing. Question 29 is if you could bring one character back to life, which would it be? Now, it's not two characters. It's just one. So the people I would bring back... I wouldn't bring back because you can't have one without the other. So if I were to bring only one character back from the slew of people that died in throughout the book series, particularly the mass murders of the seventh book, which this is going to be a seventh book spoiler. So only one character, I would bring back Fred Weasley. You can't have George without Fred. Like they are the duo that supersedes any other duo and the fact that he died I'm still not over it. So 30 which is our last question is Hallows or Horacruxes. If it's choosing between whether I have in possession the Hallows or whether I create Horacruxes for myself, I pick Hallows. I would rather have the Hallows than Horcruxes because the Horcruxes turn you into a sliver of who you are and it messes with your soul and, and it's just bad magic and I don't want to deal with that. So there we have these massive 30 questions of the ultimate Harry Potter book tag. I tag anybody and everybody who loves Harry Potter and hasn't done this tag to do this tag and let me know down in the comments below. If you've done this tag, please let me know in the comments down below so I can see it because I really want to see your answers. And if you don't want to do the tag, you don't have the tag or anything, but still want to chat with me in the comments below, still do so. Let's talk about Harry Potter, reminisce about our favorite things, our least favorite things, and all that jazz. So until next time, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you stick around on my channel and all of that. So until next time, I love you guys. Bye!